Make sure babies are born and you see a pediatrician checking the hips and he's trying to make them go out and in and around and he's worried about something and the term they use is like hip dysplasia. What's a hip dysplasia? But one thing that us as doctors, whether it's a pediatrician or an orthopedist, is always interested in um, looking for in a newborn baby is um, to check for hip dysplasia, as you termed, which is a condition that about one in a thousand babies are born with where the hip is unstable or dislocated. And the thing that's very important is that if that condition is present in a baby, that we identify it as early as possible. And for that reason, whether it's myself or the pediatrician, that's one of the things that we'll check all newborn babies for. How is it diagnosed? Diagnosis is, um, in almost all cases, based on physical examination. So your pediatrician, your orthopedist, is trained and experienced in examining the hips. Now, what would be the classical signs? Sometimes you see a leg that's longer than another one. Is that one of the signs? Most common thing that the pediatrician will find in the newborn baby or in the first couple of weeks is when they examine the hips, they'll feel the hip moving in and out of position. Occasionally, so loose, so you can loose. Laxity, right, oh, or yes. looseness. Occasionally, the kids that are a little older, a few months old, um, the pediatrician may notice a difference in leg lengths, or they may notice that um, one hip has less motion than, than another. And if we do make the diagnosis, how is that treated? What will happen in most situations is that your pediatrician will refer you to an orthopedist. Orthopedist will confirm the diagnosis either based on exam or occasionally on some type of imaging uh, study, either an ultrasound or an x-ray. And what will you do at that particular point? So the most common scenario is that we have a newborn infant or an infant in the first six weeks of life where the hip instability is identified, send them to us, and if in fact the hip is unstable, um, they'll be placed into a brace. If for some reason uh, that it's diagnosed kind of late, I'd say nine months to a year, can that be fixed at that age? Yeah, even in the best uh, physician's hands, whether it's the pediatrician or the orthopedist, there'll be some children where the, dif the diagnosis is very difficult to make. So we do still see some kids that are older, you know, eight, nine months, over a year with a dislocated hip. And uh, those two can be treated, but they, um, the treatment's a little different. Some of those kids may need to be in a cast, and occasionally some of the kids may need a surgery to give them the best result with their hip. But I, I would emphasize that of the many kids we treat with this problem, it's only a small percentage that go on to need surgery. Um, if they do have this condition and you do treat it, they end up being perfectly okay down the road? Majority of kids, a lot of um, the outcome will depend on what we have to start out with. Um, but if you take all the children that um, I treat or most pediatric orthopedists treat, the majority, 80% or so, will end up with a normal hip and should really have no more problems than anyone else.